Well, with prom and graduation season approaching, the search begins for the perfect dress, which can sometimes be a little bit difficult. Absolutely. It can. It so we've brought in our fashion expert, Natalie Sexton. She's the creator of the blog Sexton in the City. You have a new website, which is sextoninthecity.ca. Right. Yes, check you it should out. check that one out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, I remember back, and my mom always used to take me, and it was so much fun, but sometimes it yes. can be frustrating. Oh, absolutely. I, I know, and I, I, with my daughter, actually, uh, who just finished her first year of university, we had many years of dress hunting together um, and I loved every minute of it um, so I thought why not kind of make this a, a, a little easier and I chose Taylor Swift whose style I absolutely adore and she's mm -hmm. always age appropriate which I think is really important and Megan my daughter was kind enough to model for me um, so I did three different looks all from the bay this first dress is a Jessica Simpson dress $110 sequins which I love so this trend is kind of that sparkle uh, glitter I call it the, the sparkle and shine um, so when you're doing a dress like this because because of the age too you can go with something with a little bit of a shorter hemline and with the three-quarter sleeve you can go for the low back like you see here uh, a, a simple black pump is perfect and then accessories of kind of of the of the moment colors big spring colors like hot pink fuchsia Bright teal look fabulous. And what were some of the other fashions then? Um, the, the next look that I went for was bright color. Um, so we did a, a beautiful coral BCBG dress, uh, again from the Bay for $70. Um, and colors are so big right now. You can go for these, again, these like hot pinks or yellows, purples, kind of whatever works for your skin tone. And then again, simple accessories, a side swept hair, and I love the matching lipstick, of course. And it's age appropriate as well. You can tell Megan's wearing the outfits. That's they're right. not too low. They're, they're, they're covering the right That's areas. That's it. It's so important because they should still be youthful, but then, um, you know, you don't want something with big puff sleeves, you know, a giant gown down to the floor. So it's not looking, you, you don't want to look too old and you still want to be appropriate. Right. right? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. So let's take a look at the last bit of pictures here. The last look I went for was that neutral and pastel trend that we're seeing a lot of, um, like Taylor Swift's dress and Megan's. It's that one shoulder style, which is really big with a little ruffle detail. Um, I also incorporated the print trend that's going on with the neutral. So Megan's BCBG dress, which is $70, um, has the, the blush color with the black which looks great but you can go for a simple pastel pinks lavenders mint green is wonderful they look great accessorized with metallics uh, and and speaking of pastels why don't we mm -hmm. take a look at some of the makeup trends that yes. are really hot right now pastels is one of them you were saying pa pastel is really big we're we're seeing a new take on like that classic smoky eye being done with pastels you can see on kim kardashian hers is done with an aqua uh, Scarlett Johansson and Kerry Washington are, are done with those purples and pinks. Um, you would want to keep the rest of your makeup kind of simple and shimmery. Um, and then we're moving on here to the bright lip trend. So if you're going to go for the focus on the lips, you're going to go a little softer on the eyes. And we love these kind of orange reds and fuchsias, like Leah Michelle's bright pink looks fabulous. Ashley Tisdale has that, almost that watermelon, which looks fantastic. It really does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from prom, to all of those graduating university and college. Next week, we're going to be showing them. Well, what I thought because you know college and university is wrapping up now, there's so many students out there looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. And I would like to show them great wardrobe options for job interviews, kind of going from student to professional. OK, sounds good. And yes. you'll have that post sometime during the week. And we'll Absolutely. have you on next Saturday to yes. break it all down I for us once again. It. Yes. OK, thank you, Natalie. Thanks, Kate. Thank well, you. Well, still ahead, we'll take a short break. There's still more when we return, including Four not-so-obvious symptoms doctors say could be a sign of something much more serious.